Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Crypto Daily Trade Signals coming to you live from Asia. This is our 9 p.m. update, guys. Wow, what a day it's been. Huh? It's been up and down. And this morning when we woke up in Asia, we thought that the Dogecoin was going down. It did go down to around about 18.4. Uh, now we're back up over 18.5. And hopefully you guys in America can take it up to 20 cents. That would be really fantastic. That would be just huge so you guys gotta make it happen so guys just want to give a big shout out to all my subscribers all my members and all everyone that's new to the channel please uh, smash that like subscribe right now we got amazing content and this is not only about crypto news it's it's about having fun spreading a good vibe spreading some love guys so we you know we want to have fun here so guys uh watch out for nasty scammers in the contents remember they're very tenacious or you know they've got bots or something because as soon as you post a video boom, they just uh, the crazy comments everywhere and on another thing guys um remember this is not financial advice it's just me uh, expressing my opinion guys so that's really important that you guys do that uh remember this is not financial advice do your own risk management that's really important so wow we've had a really topsy-turvy day we, we went all the way down to 18.3 uh you know i i thought that we we're going to have a, a massive dump uh, luckily, you know, uh, at the end of the day here in Asia, we were able to bring things back. We saw a massive dump uh, in all the Asian markets because of the uh, the uh, inflation data that came out yesterday. Everyone's talking about that. You know, we've had some of the grayscale unlocking. I think we had about 5K worth of uh, Bitcoin uh, unlocked today in the grayscale. Uh, that's going to happen probably when the markets open today. So we're, we're going to get the partial unlocking. I think the total unlock for July is like 40. 41,838 uh, Bitcoin, something around that range. And it's gonna, it's gonna happen over the next couple of days with the biggest uh, 16K happening on the, 16K happening on the um, 15th of July. So that's gonna happen. Uh, so you guys have to buckle up, see if that affects the Bitcoin price. Let's see what happens tonight uh, when the uh, stock market opens, when those uh, grayscale uh, uh, shares unlock tonight. A, like I said, it's about 1,500 Bitcoin that's going to unlock. Let's see if that has any effect. We've also seen that uh, you can see that there's a huge amount of uh, cash being held by a lot of central banks. Uh, you can see the chart up there. And that just goes to show that the Fed's been printing money like crazy. We've got the inflation rate that we've talked about. Everyone's been talking about it. It's, you know, it's gone up. CPI has gone up almost 5.4%. It's the highest it's gone up uh, since 2008. It's just, it's, just, it's just crazy, guys. But, uh, you know, I really believe we hit bottom. I believe we've hit bottom. You know, a lot of the uh, good news is being overshadowed by the inflation data. We've also got the uh, Congress meeting on the 28th of uh, July. I think once that's done and nothing really bad happens, you're going to actually see cryptos take off. And, uh, you know, in my previous video, I talked about two bullish patterns, uh, you know, a bullish squeeze and a bullish squeeze with a with a fake out and it looks like you know in september we could be back up to 54 55 thousand so go back and watch that previous video guys i think you really love it so guys this has been really uh, interesting day let's see what happens with doge the rest of the day and let's see how they materialize let's jump into the let's jump into the markets let's jump into the ta let's get it right now guys Woo! look at the bitcoin chart right now we can see that uh, bitcoin is at uh, 32,456 uh, it's still down compared to yesterday, so we really need uh, Bitcoin to actually start making some moves here. Uh, so let's just zoom in so we can see how, how we're faring there. So you can see that uh, right now Bitcoin is, uh, and this is on the one-day chart, uh, Bitcoin is, uh, you know, it's uh, it's been down. It's down considerably com uh, compared to where it was a couple days ago. So we really need Bitcoin to actually get itself back up to 35,000. If it doesn't do that, then we're going to have a huge, we're going to have a huge problem. And it's not going to be good for the uh, crypto markets. And you, we all know that if we, uh, if we look at the Doge right now, the Doge price right now, uh, Doge is actually, uh, surprisingly, it's coming back a little bit. We're at uh, 19, right now we're at 19.6, uh, 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 almost 19.7. So we've made a, we've made a good uh, comeback. This is my purple line. Purple line. So you, get, you guys can see that uh, we uh, went down, uh, we went down today uh, as low as, uh, let's take a look. We went as low as uh, 18.725. And uh, looks like we just uh, almost hit that hit my purple line my purple line and uh, we are able to bounce back right here and we made a, a pretty good significant uh, bounce back from here to here and that's a that's a that's a pretty decent measured move if we measure that move from from top to bottom here uh, let me just use another another uh, forecast here here we go price range there we go 
So if we measure from the bottom here to here, we've actually come back up a 6.63% from the low that we hit today. So that's pretty good. Um, let's hopefully that everybody in America can take that to the next level and hopefully we can get ourselves up to the EMA, uh, which is at 20 cents. So we are lucky, we are so lucky that we were able to, uh, the bulls were able to fight back the bears and we're able to take uh, Dogecoin back up uh, past our support level. And we're well past our support level of uh, 193 uh, right now. So that's really good. So you can see our support level here of uh, 193. So we're well past that. So that's positive news. Hopefully you guys in America can continue to take uh, Doge up uh, uh, considerably. So, you know, we all know that Bitcoin uh, is important for the, all the cryptocurrency space. So let's jump into it right now. And uh, you can see that there's also some positive news coming out for Bitcoin. And if you look at the uh, uh, 420 say, days after the third halving, so it's about uh, 428 days now after the after the ha halving, ha having, halving, halving, you know, potato, potato. Uh, there are some intriguing on-chain data that suggests Bitcoin is resetting itself after a big correction that took us uh, from 64K. So what it's saying here is that, you know, we had this big correction. We're now seeing ourselves resetting. This is the reset zone here. And uh, as you can see here, this is the uh, Plan B, uh, you know, stock to flow model. So according to the Plan B model, we should be... Uh, around about uh, this area right here, so we're well below the uh, stock to the uh, stock to the stock to flow model, but uh, we've gone just outside the range. So hopefully we can get back in this range, and we've seen that before. We saw that in October 2020, we saw that Bitcoin uh, went out of the range. You can see the big gap here between here and here, and then we had our explosive. Uh, you know, upside uh, in January 2021. So that's what really makes me, there's a whole, whole bunch of indicators. We're having less volatility. We're having more Bitcoin taken off exchanges. We're falling out of the plan uh, B stock to flow model range now. And I believe that soon we're going to have a really big impulse to the upside. And that could take us, you know, all the way up to 100K. I'm still pretty confident we can hit 100K uh, for sure. And, uh, you know, also some, we have a big day uh, we have a big day that's coming. The big day has finally arrived. We know that uh, Paraguay, they're about to uh, finalize the uh, legalization of Bitcoin as being their, their legal tender. So uh, congratulations, uh, Paraguay. Hopefully that's going to happen and that's going to get approved. That was go through really smoothly. Now, I did talk about this in a previous video, but I'll just be really uh, brief. So basically, there are two scenarios. Right now, we have a volatility squeeze uh, and... Uh, Basically, the volatility is coming way down, way down. Often when we have, uh, you know, low price, low vol volatility, Bitcoin being moved off exchanges, this really signals that we're at a bottom. And I believe that we actually have two things that are going to happen. We're going to have a bullish squeeze breakout. That's just going to be, a, the squeeze is going to be over. We're going to have a pure breakout. And then we're going to have a uh, bullish squeeze. We're going to have a fake out. Then we're going to have a breakout. So let's take a look at the, the scenarios. Scenario A is we just have the breakout to the upside, and that takes us to the middle of October, middle of August, early September for us to see uh, approximately 48,000 uh, coming in. Let me zoom that up for you. And then, you know, the more likely scenario, because as I said earlier, the crypto markets right now are kind of weird and crazy. You know, we've never had so many, so much institutional adoption. And I believe that we're going to continue on uh, consolidation probably to the end of uh, July. Then we will have a bit of a fake out and that will take us down, uh, you know, to 31.5 uh, or as low as 30,000. And then we're going to have an upside that will take us back up to uh, around about 46, 47 by the uh, middle of August. And then we could see all time highs coming in around September. So that's what I'm, that's what I think is going to happen. Uh, so you guys, leave me some comments. What are you guys going to think? Uh, what do you guys think is going to happen? So I just want to, I talked about this, but I want to repeat. So we've got the grayscale unlocking. Uh, uh, right now is the 14th. So we're going to have some unlocking happening today at around 9.30 uh, a.m. New York time. So you guys need to keep an eye on the Bitcoin price because when that unlocks, if the Bitcoin price suddenly tanks, it means that people are not rolling it over, not rolling over, 
and it means that they're uh, they're selling their uh, grayscale trust uh, shares that they've just unlocked. So that will send a signal because uh, on the 18th we have about 16k worth of shares that are going to be unlocked, guys. So if these people are not rolling over, there's a good chance that these people are not going to roll over, and this whole this whole uh, amount of Bitcoin for the total month of July that's being unlocked is around around about 41,800 and change. So if everyone decides not to roll over and liquidates, uh, that could send a Bitcoin price going down. So we want to avoid that. So just keep an eye on that. Uh, some of the good news, Brazilian security regulator approves uh, Ethereum ETF. So that should be going live. That's going to be traded on the main uh, Brazilian stock exchange. And uh, that's going to have the uh, ticker single ticker uh, symbol. Oh, get your words right, Daryl. Of Q E T H one. So this is really fantastic. We have the uh, ETF, uh, the Ethereum ETF in uh, Ontario approved. We we have one now in Brazil. So this is really bullish news. Uh, so this is just part and parcel of the uh, positive news that's coming out. We're seeing more positive news now than negative news. You know, remember the last uh, news cycle, the last narrative was really uh, negative. We had Bitcoin miners, uh, China being kicked out, China kicking out Bitcoin miners. We had the, uh, you know, China regulation, all that fun. So we're starting to see some more positive news cycles. I think people are kind of sitting on the sidelines waiting to the August 28th congressional uh, hearings with the SEC to see what kind of see what things are going to happen with crypto. You know, we have negative Nancy Elizabeth Warren, bad in the crypto, bad in the crypto. So let's see what she has to say. Hopefully she's sick that day and she doesn't come to work. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, Visa has also approved Bitcoin spending card for Australian startup. So uh, there's a Bitcoin uh, startup in Australia called Crypto Spend, and they're going to have a Visa uh, crypto debit card. And so that will allow Australians to use their crypto to spend stuff in all about 70 million merchants worldwide. So that's good news for the Australian market. So congratulations, guys. Woohoo! So that's really good news. Guys, don't forget to follow me on my Insta uh, Instagram uh, and also follow me on my Twitter. And my Twitter handle is at elganinvestmen1. And right now we got 876 followers. We need to get that. I'd like to see that to get to 1,000, guys. So make that happen. I'd appreciate it. And do you think it's time for the Doge stats? I think it is. Doge spread in love. Remember, guys, hashtag Doge spread in love uh, in your socials. Doge spread in love. So let's jump in the markets really quick and then uh, let you guys get out of here. All right, so right now Bitcoin is uh, trading at 32,394. That's down 1.58%. Uh, Ethereum right now is trying to claw its way back up over 2,000, and it's a down 2.63%. So that's pretty decent considering where it was uh, earlier today in Asia was down uh, to about 1,800 and some change. So we've clawed our way back. So that's really good news. Uh, BNB is also trying to claw its way back. It was uh, down almost uh, 285 to 295 range here in Asia. So it's clawing its way back. ADA is also uh, coming back a little bit. It's uh, minus only 3%. And it's at $1.25. So my doge in the house has really come back. You know, we're down almost 10% today earlier in the morning in Asia. As I said, we went down to about 18.7 uh, cents. And now we're back up to 19.4 cents. And hopefully we can continue that rise. You know, we really need to just be cautious, see what happens with the grayscale, uh, some of those Bitcoin that's being unlocked today. Uh, if people don't roll those over and they dump those on the market, we could see some uh, downward selling pressure, and that wouldn't be good. So let's take a look at the uh, crypto portfolio right now. Let me just refresh this too to get the accurate update. We were we were down three hundred seventy one dollars earlier today, so we come back come back up a little bit. We we're down like seven percent now. We come back around down four point eight four percent. So that's good. We're still underwater though, guys. But you know this is crypto. We're gonna bounce back, so don't panic. Do not panic. So guys, uh, yeah. Let's get into the next part of the video. Woohoo! All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. This was just a quick update. We talked about uh, Dogecoin price, some of the resistance support levels. We talked about uh, you know, the, the uh, Bitcoin price, uh, where I see the heading in the next couple of months. Uh, definitely Doge all-time highs in the winter time. I think that's gonna be really uh, important. Keep an eye on the uh, grayscale unlocking, see how things unfold on the 15th of July. Let's hope things don't dump. Remember, Friday to Saturday, think, uh, markets pump. Saturday and Sunday, things dump. So this Saturday, I, I got a feeling we could be 
going uh, red. Let's see what happens. Let hopefully uh, uh, Bitcoin can go up, up past 35. But if it starts to dump after the grayscale unlocking happens, then that's going to send uh, all the markets down and everything. So let's see how the uh, markets fare uh, in about uh, 30, 40 minutes when uh, New York opens, guys. So, guys, once again, smash the likes. Smash it. Subscribe right now. God bless you all. Hey, we're in deep lockdown now. I've, I've left a link to a, a video. You can see how the city looks in the daytime during the lockdown here in Vietnam. It's pretty quiet. It's real quiet. Guys, check the links down below. I've got NFTs. I've got uh, merch. Check out my merch. T-shirts, hats. Check out the merch. Please buy some merch. Buy some merch. It's fantastic stuff. Okay, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Be blessed. God bless every, each and every one of you. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Bangkok time. If anything big happens between now and then, I'll let you guys know. I'll, I'll put out a video and update you guys. All right, guys. This is just the, the quick 9 p.m. Bank out time update. So you guys in America have a great day. You guys in Asia have a good evening. Wind down. Spend some time with your family. Spread a little love. Spread a little love.